a cheat sheet to AI buzzwords and their meanings. The arrival in late 2022 of the ChatGPT chatbot, with its remarkably sophisticated, if occasionally erroneous, answers to a vast array of queries, was a milestone in artificial intelligence that's taken decades to reach. Scientists were experimenting with computer vision and giving machines the ability to read as far back as the 1960s. Chatbots began life when the Beatles were still making music. Today it's possible to imagine a computer being able to perform most human tasks better than people can. Whether you're worried about being replaced by a machine or just intrigued by the possibilities, here are some frequently used AI buzzwords and what they actually mean. Artificial intelligence. This broad term refers to the use of technology to model human intelligence. AI promises a world of personalized products and news feeds and services that are cheaper, faster and free from human error. For example, factory managers or transport network operators could use it to make better use of their engineers' time and spot component failures before they happen. Computer scientist John McCarthy coined the term in the 1950s, but the field didn't take off in earnest until this century, when technology giants such as Google, Meta Platforms Inc. and Microsoft Corp. combined vast computing power with deep pools of user data. While AI can show human-like abilities in data processing or conversation, the machines don't yet understand what they're doing or saying. They're still relying essentially on algorithms. Algorithm. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step process used to solve a problem. Take an input, apply some logic and you get an output. Humans have been using algorithms to solve problems for centuries. Some financial analysts spend their careers building algorithms that are able to predict future events and help them to make money. Our world runs on these traditional algorithms, but recently there has been a shift toward machine learning, which builds on these ideas. Machine learning. This is the process of feeding data into algorithms so they get more refined and sophisticated over time. It allows a computer to learn without necessarily having to be trained on the specifics of the job at hand. Take the iPhone photo app. Initially, it doesn't know what you look like. But once you start tagging yourself as the face in photos taken across many years and in a variety of environments, the machine learns to recognize your face. The more data it's fed, the more effective it is. To be sure, this depends on a capable model underneath that can differentiate a human face from, say, two fried eggs, a mushroom and a sausage arranged on a plate. Natural language processing. Natural language processing is a branch of AI that helps computers to understand, process and generate speech and text the way a human would. NLP relies on machine learning algorithms to extract data from written text, translate languages, recognize handwritten words and discern meaning and context. It's the underlying technology that powers virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa and allows them to not only understand requests but also respond in natural language. NLP can also gauge emotion in text, which is why if you tell Siri, I'm sad, it will suggest you call a friend or loved one. Other everyday applications include email spam filtering, web search, spell checking and text prediction. Chatbots. Known as chatterbots in the 1990s, these are the products like ChatGPT that can hold advanced, human-like conversations with people about anything from historical trivia to lists of creative recipes using a watermelon. An early example are the tools used by companies on their Contact Us pages as a first line of defense when a customer needs help. These are relatively unsophisticated and limited in their conversational abilities, much like voice-activated virtual assistants. It's expected that chatbots will rapidly improve as a result of recent advances in AI. Computer vision. A field of AI that allows computers to scan visual information such as images and video, identifying and classifying objects and people. The systems can react to what they see and take or recommend a particular action. The technology is being used to track wildlife for conservation and guide autonomous vehicles. There's been concern about its use in military operations and policing, where it's been shown to exhibit racial bias and to lack the precision needed to reliably identify a particular person. Deep Learning This is the most common form of AI in which software is taught to classify something such as a video or a loan application from a very large set of labeled data. The age-old computing adage, garbage in, garbage out, applies here. If the training data isn't good, it doesn't reflect the real world or it incorporates human biases, the AI won't work as intended or will contain those biases. Software being used to help make decisions on bail, sentencing and parole rated black defendants is more likely to commit future crimes than similar white defendants. In other cases, businesses using deep learning software have denied services to people in areas with more residents from ethnic minorities. Generative AI. This refers to the production of creative works, pictures, music, text, poetry, sea shanties, from simple prompts. 
It encompasses the likes of Stability AI's Stable Diffusion, or OpenAI's DAL-E, which can create elaborate and detailed imagery in seconds. Google also developed, but hasn't released, a system to make music from keywords. These kinds of systems aren't to be confused with AI used by companies like Adobe in its Photoshop product, for instance, as those help people to correct or improve existing images. Instead, generative AI creates entirely new work after being trained on vast quantities of pre-existing material, something that's also generating lawsuits from artists and agencies. Neural Networks This is a type of AI in which a computer is programmed to learn in very roughly the same way a human brain does, through trial and error. Each success or failure reinforces future attempts and adaptations. Just as a child's brain learns to map neural pathways based on what it's been taught, the virtual neurons learn to generate responses based on the information they've been fed and what they're told is correct, although it can take thousands or even millions of attempts to become proficient. Layer these neurons together and you end up with a network that is multiple levels deep. It's why this approach, specifically, using neural networks to learn from large amounts of data, is also known as deep learning. Large language models These are very large neural networks that are trained using massive amounts of text in a particular language from all over the internet, including ebooks, news articles and Wikipedia pages. With billions of parameters to learn from, LLMs are the backbone of natural language processing that can recognize, summarize, translate, predict and generate text. Perhaps the most well-known LLM is GPT-3, the engine that drives chat GPT. Meta has developed Llama and Google has Lambda. GPT a type of LLM whose initials stand for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. The Transformer part of GPT is the more complex of the three components and isn't specific to chat GPT creator OpenAI. In fact, it was Google that developed Transformers. It refers to a system that can take strings of inputs and process them all at once rather than in isolation, so that context and word order can be captured. This is important in language translation, for instance, her dog, Poppy, ate in the kitchen, could be translated into the French equivalent of, Poppy ate her dog in the kitchen, without appropriate attention being paid to order, syntax and meaning. OpenAI. The San Francisco-based laboratory behind ChatGPT was co-founded as a non-profit by programmer and entrepreneur Sam Altman to develop AI technology that benefits all of humanity. Early investors included LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman's charitable foundation and Elon Musk, who ended his involvement in 2018. OpenAI shifted to create a for-profit entity in 2019, when Microsoft invested $1 billion. Microsoft pumped in an additional $10 billion in January, then unveiled a new version of its Bing search engine and Edge browser that uses its tech. Rival AI labs include Hugging Face, which is working with Amazon.com Inc., and Chinese giant Baidu Inc., which said it's preparing to roll out Wenxin Yian, or Ernie Bot in English, and will directly compete with OpenAI. Anthropic, a startup closely partnered with Google, is testing a chat GPT competitor called Claude. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we thank you again for being a part of our community channel. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to serving you with more exciting videos in the future. We hope it has been helpful in understanding the world of passive income and affiliate marketing. I have my affiliate marketing links listed below on this channel. Please click on them now and discover the best affiliate marketing program I am very proud to be a part of which is onlinebusiness.app Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment below and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video from Passive Income Journey 777. Connect with us below. Online Business. App. HTTPS colon slash slash onlinebusiness.app slash live question mark AFMC equals CCPB. Digital Freelance https colon slash slash online business dot app slash digital dash freelance question mark afmc equals 584 marketplace like amazon https colon slash slash marketplace dot online business dot app slash question mark afmc equals 2gp babes nft 100k plus mastermind https colon slash slash online business dot app slash store slash 100k mastermind underscore babes and question mark afmc equals 748 Run pass application. HTTPS colon slash slash online business dot app slash run pass question mark AFMC equals C4. Global CEO. HTTPS colon slash slash online business dot app slash global CEO question mark AFMC equals 583. Facebook. HTTPS colon slash slash www dot facebook dot com slash marketplace like Amazon. Disclaimer. The opinion expressed in this video is not investment advice, it is provided for informational purposes only.
Every investment and all trading involve risk, so you should always perform your own research prior to making decisions. We do not recommend investing money you cannot afford to lose. Passive Income Journey 777 is not a registered financial advisor or investment advisor. Our channel is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes only, designed to provide the best information to help you learn how to navigate the financial markets. Hashtag crypto hashtag XRP hashtag Ripple. Income Disclosure. This is not a get-rich-quick program, nor do not believe in overnight success. The Passive Income Journey 777 channel is strictly for informational and educational purposes only. We believe in hard work, integrity, and developing your skills if you want to earn more money online. As stipulated by law, we cannot and do not make any guarantees about your ability to get results or earn any money with any of our products or services, or the products and services we mention. The average person who buys any products online gets little to no results because they take little to no action. Any references or examples used within this video, are real and documented, but are used for example purposes only. Your results will vary and depend on many factors, including but not limited to your background, experience, and work ethic. Cryptocurrencies entail risk as well as potential losses. If you're not willing to accept that, please do not purchase any products or cryptocurrencies, or NFTs mentioned in this video. In fact, do not buy any crypto or NFT mentioned in this video. Watch for learning purposes only. If you are in the United States of America, please read the rules and regulations listed on the websites for any cryptocurrencies you are learning about. Results aren't typical, so don't be typical. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment below and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video from Passive Income Journey 777.